Hello everyone, Nelson here from Epicenter and welcome to Epicenter How To. Now today, uh, what I'm going to show you is how to organize and customize your doc. By the way, what is doc? Doc is this place on the bottom part of your screen. The place where you can put quick access for your applications, right here, and also folders or what we call stacks. Now I'm going to show you how to put your application here, how to get rid of it from the doc and also how to add your own personal folders and how to customize your doc. First, let's go ahead and try to put an application. All you need to do is go inside a finder. On your finder, it would open it up. And on the left-hand side, you would see the sidebar here. Look for the category name applications. Application is the place where you could put all or you could see all your applications installed inside your Mac. Now, let's say I want to put my application chess onto my dock, all I need to do is click and drag this all the way to the bottom part, all the way to your dock. If you notice, it will give you a room or a space where you can put that icon. And when that happens, all you need to do is simply let go of your trackpad or your mouse and that icon would stick there. As easy as that. Okay. Now if you want to put your own personal folder onto the dock on the lower right hand part right here, it's actually the same process. So all you need to do is go to your list of folder, choose a folder that you always access. Let's say uh, uh, this folder right here, music folder. If you want to put it onto your dock, simply click on it and drag it all the way to the lower right hand corner. And again, like your application, it would give you a space where you could put that. And when that happens, you let go of that folder. And as you can see, that icon or that folder sticks there. So that's what you call the stacks. Okay. Now you know how to put applications from your dock, how to get rid of them. If you want to remove an existing application away from your dock, all you need to do is click and drag this application away and dump it onto your desktop. As you can see, there's an icon, a cloud icon right there. So if I let go of my trackpad or my mouse, this application will disappear. As easy as that. And you will hear that uh, sound. Now, if you want to get rid of the stacks or the folders that you've added onto your dock right here, it's the same process. Click and drag it out from the dock itself. And again, you will see, you will see that cloud icon. When you let go, it disappears. Okay? So that's how simple it is to customize and put up your own quick access for your applications and also for your folders. There's a lot more things that you could do on your dock. You could also customize and add some effects on it. For instance, if you go to the Apple logo and hover to the dock option, you could turn magnification on right here. Okay. If I turn magnification on, what's going to happen is that whenever I hover my mouse on top of my icons, you will see the icons popping out of the dock. So it's quite easy to find out where your icon is pointing at. If you could also uh, change the orientation or you could put your uh, dock onto the left if you want to or you could even put it to the right depending on how you want it to be not only that you could also hide your dock from time to time if you want so same place go to dock turn hiding on and automatically the dock would disappear if you want to show it up simply hover your mouse on the bottom part and it automatically shows up okay so there you go. Those are some of the things that you could customize on your dock to make things much more personalized and much more easier for you. Okay, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.